Now that electric cars are becoming more popular, the main question on people's minds seems to be, how long will they last? Many still believe that an EV requires a new $20,000 battery pack every couple of years by default, and that this is expected with every single Tesla or other EV. Battery replacements do occur in rare occasions with a Tesla, but again, it's rare. Today, we're going to break down what truly happens to a Tesla when it is driven for 100,000, 400,000, 1 million miles or more. Does the car hold up? What needs replacing? We're going to look at a lot of examples and talk about some of the myths and facts surrounding EV longevity. So let's get into it. And a special thanks to Bellroy for sponsoring a portion of this video. According to Consumer Reports, the average life expectancy of a new vehicle is around eight years or 150,000 miles. That's for vehicles in general. They also note that, of course, some well-built vehicles can go 15 years and 300,000 if properly maintained. As far as how much preventative maintenance can help your car last longer, they say that somewhere down the road, a major part is going to fail. Quote, when a vehicle exceeds 200,000 miles, you are riding on borrowed time and the car is paying you back. As with everything, there will be edge cases of vehicles lasting far longer and far shorter than these estimates, but electric vehicles work differently. Electric vehicles have far less moving parts and require much less maintenance. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, quote, all electric vehicles typically require less maintenance than conventional vehicles because the battery, motor, and associated electronics require little to no regular maintenance. There are fewer fluids, such as engine oil, that require regular maintenance. Brake wear is significantly reduced due to regenerative braking. There are far few moving parts relative to a conventional fuel engine. This is a very good recipe for success, not only for a reduced maintenance cost, but a vehicle that will last a long time, but many assume that this all gets negated by the battery. The battery will eventually fail and you'll face a $20,000 repair. Well, first off, even if this were the case, Tesla's battery warranty comes in at eight years or 150,000 miles for the Model S and X. For a rear wheel drive Model 3, it's eight years or 100,000 miles. And for the long ranger performance Model 3 or Y, it's eight years or 120,000 miles. In those cases, it's whichever comes first. Essentially, that's falling just below the average life expectancy quoted from Consumer Reports, so if your battery were to fail, it would be covered under warranty for that amount of time, along with the drive unit. However, batteries failing in that time is not usually the case. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, battery failures can occur. I actually had the battery fail on my Model Y, and it was replaced under warranty, but this was a cell imbalance and wasn't because it had its normal battery required replacement or anything like that. Plenty of Teslas have lasted extremely long on the original battery, and with millions on the road, we're clearly not seeing battery replacements as a regular requirement. According to greencars.com, quote, it's not uncommon for modern EV batteries to last more than 10 years, and some will go well beyond that before needing to be replaced. The average EV owner will sell their car long before they would need to replace the battery pack. The general rule of thumb for an EV battery is that it needs replacing after it's lost 30% of its original capacity. For Tesla's warranty, they say eight years or 120,000 miles, whichever comes first, with minimum 70% retention of battery capacity over the warranty period. So in other words, they see the battery as a valid warranty claim and something that you need to replace if it has lost 30% of its original capacity. So how fast does a battery lose its capacity? There are many factors here, but the general rule of thumb is that an EV battery will lose about one to 2% of its range per year, depending on how you use it. So some quick math here means that in the worst case estimate, that's 15 years. In the best, it's 30 years before it reaches 70% capacity and should be replaced. Placed. We'll be looking at a lot of data specific to Tesla, since they have sold far more EVs than anyone else, but a lot of these rules apply to all EVs. Battery technology has improved dramatically across the board since the original Prius or original Nissan Leaf. Quote, according to a recent survey, the average EV owner only notices a 2% battery decline after three years of driving and a 7% decline after six years on the road. According to Tesla, their cars are built to last a very, very long time. For their batteries, quote, Tesla batteries are designed to last between 300,000 and 500,000 miles, so replacement shouldn't be a major concern for most drivers. In Tesla's impact report for 2021, they showed data from the Model S and X, the cars that have been on the road the longest from them. This data shows battery retention per distance traveled, and after 200,000 miles, they are seeing battery retention in the mid to high 80%, as we can see. After 200,000 miles, this is still well above the threshold for a full replacement and still achieving over 80% of its original range. Quote, Tesla battery packs are designed to outlast 
class the vehicle. We estimate that a vehicle gets scrapped after approximately 200,000 miles of usage in the US and roughly 150,000 miles in Europe. As for the future though, Tesla says creating a battery that could last for 1 million miles, 400,000 charging cycles, would dramatically reduce the emissions per mile driven for high mileage vehicles such as taxis, delivery vans, or trucks. So these are the current numbers, but they could get much better over time. That's all related to how long the battery lasts, but what about the car itself? In 2018, Tesla posted about the Model 3 drive unit, saying, quote, the Model 3 drive system is designed and validated for over 1 million miles. This is what the gears look like after testing. Elon Musk added, Model 3 motor and gearbox still in good condition after driving 1 million miles, designed for ultra high endurance. It's unclear if this involved maintenance or how exactly they tested this, but 1 million miles for the drive system is fantastic. Elon further expanded on this in 2019, saying, quote, Model 3 drive unit and body is designed like a commercial truck for a million mile life. Current battery modules should last 300,000 to 500,000 miles, 1,500 cycles. Now, of course, this is all great, but it's a bunch of data from the guy and the company trying to sell these cars, even though it's backed by a bunch of facts. Elon is known for some lofty predictions, so what is third-party data like and user experience truly like? An independent study done by 286 Tesla Model S owners across the world showed data on a Model S after 50,000 miles or around 100,000 kilometers. In general, most Model S battery packs lost 5% of their capacity at the 50,000 mile mark, but actually slowed down after that. The data shows that it would take around another 150,000 miles or 200,000 miles total before coming close to a 90% capacity. So that data looks better than Tesla's, but it's a much smaller sample size. Also in 2019, a Tesla Model 3 owner became the first to hit 100,000 miles. He documented his experience and said, quote, for maintenance and repairs, this is my favorite part. If I was not beating the car to death, all I would have had serviced is tires. I'm averaging 25,000 miles per set when properly rotated. Other than tires, I drove the car through a valley stream and had to get a control arm replaced afterwards. I also was out on the Bonneville salt flats when the winds were high speed. They slammed my door to its limit and shattered a piece inside of the hinge. He spent about $500 replacing those parts and his max range then was 302 to 308 or about a 2.5% loss on his original 310 mile rating for his Model 3. So after 100,000 miles, a 2.5% capacity loss and no major replacements to the car. Again, he'd have to reach 30% capacity loss before the battery would be seen as needing a replacement. He's likely never going to hit that. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Bellroy. Bellroy is a company that designs high quality, innovative, and earth-friendly products that help you be more efficient in your day-to-day. -day. They make wallets with easy access card storage, phone cases, bags, and card holders with built-in RFID protection, and a ton of other cool gadgets. I got their key case and tool that organizes your keys. It includes a multi-purpose arm that you can use as a bottle opener, screwdriver, or box cutter, and it feels much nicer in your pocket than a messy key ring. I've been using it since May, and I love that it's one easy, solid object, and I don't have to worry about my keys ripping my pockets or scratching my car's interior. The best part about this company, though, is that Earth Consciousness is at the forefront of their design and manufacturing. They support effective charities, use upcycled, single-use water bottles, and have saved over 5 million bottles from landfills. They've also saved over 15 million liters of water by using their patented dry tan leather tanning process for their premium wallets. To check out Bellroy for yourself, click the link in the description below and get 10% off anything on their website. Another Model 3 in 2020 went 100,000 miles. For that 100,000 miles, the owner said, I was astonished at the low cost of maintenance and service for the car. The total cost of electricity was $2,985. Total maintenance and service cost was $1,741.11, so the total cost of ownership was $4,732.11. Tires were the biggest maintenance cost, but he did have a number of things replaced, like the wooden trim dashboard, which was peeling, a squeaking that developed at 63,000 miles, a safety restraint fault error at 71,000 miles, and a worn out headrest replaced at 93,000 miles. For the battery though, the battery degradation appears to be minimal as I currently get 305 at 100%, but it does fluctuate from time to time. That's about 5% degradation for 100,000 miles. In 2022, Andy Sly hit 100,000 miles in his Model 3, noting only a 2.2% reduction in battery range after four years. As we can see, hitting 100,000 miles in a Tesla is pretty easy, but what about beyond that? After all, Tesla only warranties the battery of a long range Model 3 or Y up to 120,000 miles. Well, a Model 3 after 132,000 miles has held up well, but 200,000 miles is the next 
next barrier for many people. Steve Sassman, writing on EV Annex, posted about his 2012 Model S. His repairs for the first 100,000 miles totaled $1,050. Since then, he paid $2,215 for a center screen replacement, $790 for a charge port replacement, $515 for a door handle, and $845 for other smaller items. He also paid for tires, a 12-volt battery, and brakes, but mentioned that these are normal for all vehicles. His first brake job was at 130,000 miles for $700, which lasted far longer than most cars do. Over the course of those 200,000 miles, he calculated around $20,000 of gas savings. He didn't note his battery degradation, but it must be well below a loss of 30% capacity, considering he is still utilizing the car after 200,000 miles. After that is where it gets really interesting, though. In 2018, a Model S hit a milestone of 400,000 miles driven. It's incredibly rare to hear of any car driving this far. Test Loop's Model S, a 90D, passed 400,000 miles, and they said, quote, Test Loop has incurred a combined maintenance cost of roughly $19,000, or about five cents per mile. This cost breaks down to $6,700 for general vehicle repairs and $12,200 for regularly scheduled maintenance. In their full service breakdown, they calculated a, quote, Lincoln Town Car or Mercedes GLS class combined maintenance cost to be around $88,500, 22 cents per mile, and $98,900, 25 cents per mile, respectively over 400,000 miles. For the battery though, that didn't hold up as well in this case. It has had two battery replacements. What is good is that the first one happened at 194,000 miles. That's a lot of longevity for a car battery, and degradation was actually only about 6%. The problem really came because Test Loop was regularly supercharging to 100% without rest in between. They are constantly driving these cars back and forth between LA and San Diego, and supercharging from low charge to 100% multiple times a day. This is not recommended for battery care, and not what average drivers are doing with their cars. This led to an internal imbalance in the HV battery. The second pack replacement happened at 324,000 miles, and this brought the most degradation we've seen, 22%. Tesla Service said diagnostics show the high voltage battery assembly is not functioning appropriately. Removed and replaced the high voltage battery assembly, replaced with 90 kilowatt permanent battery replacement. This pack was replaced under warranty as it only lasted 130,000 miles. A 2016 Tesla Model X, also owned by Tesloop, hit 4 100,000 miles in 2020. They faced $29,000 in repairs on this car. To many, this sounds high, but consider the car getting 400,000 miles, which would usually take about 20 years to reach. Some of the biggest repairs included $9,000 for tires, and they went through 42 tires in 400,000 miles on the Model X. They also had a middle seat replacement of $5,375.90 at 230,000 miles, and touchscreen replacement for $3,389.83 at 300. 73,000 miles. Again, some of those repairs may sound frustrating or expensive, but how often do cars even reach 373 miles to have a screen that needs replacing? This is also a Model X, which is a complicated vehicle and likely has much more repairs over its life than a Model 3 or Y. In late 2021, The Drive wrote about a 2015 Tesla Model S that hit 424,000 miles driven. That means they drove an average of 71,000 miles per year, and the car is still going strong. The biggest repair here was the battery replacement at a whopping 250 50,000 miles. So while a pack replacement did occur, it didn't occur until 250,000 miles, further than most cars last, according to consumer reports. They replaced that, and now there are 180,000 miles on the replaced pack, which is seeing a fair amount of range drop. The original range was 240 miles, and now they get between 180 to 200 miles on a charge. That would be 25% degradation, however, it's unclear how they are getting this data. Other than that, though, they mentioned some small issues with window actuators, and a common issue with the center screen, but no drive unit issues. They said, quote, all of the car's other major components seem to be in good shape, which is fairly impressive for a car with its odometer reading. Again, that's 424,000 miles. Next comes the biggest milestone of all, though, and the one Elon has been talking about for a while, 1 million miles. Have you ever heard of a single vehicle reaching 1 million miles on the odometer? Well, a Model S did. A German Model S owner driving a Model S P85 officially traveled 1 million miles, or 1,609,344 kilometers. Keep in mind that 1 million miles is at least five times as long as a vehicle typically lasts. That's incredible, but of course it didn't reach that distance without repairs. His battery pack was reportedly replaced twice, which makes a lot of sense given the estimates of 300,000 miles, and his drive unit has been replaced eight times. This definitely doesn't match what Elon has said about the Model 3 motor, but that's because it's an entirely different older car with an entirely different older motor. It wasn't designed for a million miles. Still, eight replacements is definitely a lot, but a vehicle 
vehicle reaching that many miles is incredible. What you may have noticed is that all these extremely long distance Teslas are Model S's and X's. That's simply because the Model 3 and Y didn't come until 2017 and 2020 respectively. They simply haven't had the time to reach these distances. At the same time, something to keep in mind when we note the battery pack replacements on Model S's and X's after 400,000 or a million miles is that it is sometimes 2012, 2014, or 2015 battery technology. Tesla has not only improved those packs since, but they have introduced an entirely new battery cell form factor since. The Model S and X use 18650 cells, and the Model 3 and Y use 2170 cells. These are newer, better, optimized battery cells meant to last longer. They are 2017 or later battery technology, and battery technology is constantly improving. Tesla is also currently working on their updated 4680 battery cells, which they have begun first deliveries of with the Model Y. So the numbers we're seeing as to battery longevity and drive unit longevity on the Model S and X look incredible. These cars are lasting an extremely long time and battery degradation is minimal, but these factors should only be better with the Model 3 and Y. The Model 3 motor is improved and meant to last extremely long, and the batteries are improved as well. In the coming years, we'll see what it's like when Model 3 and Y owners reach 200,000, 400,000, and 1 million miles driven, and what that cost can be. Overall, it's expected to be an incredibly low cost of ownership and huge savings over a gas-powered vehicle in many ways. Charging habits are a factor for battery longevity, with certain owners only charging between certain ranges, but as we saw with test loop, batteries regularly supercharged to 100% still held up remarkably well. It's pretty clear that EVs are going to lead to a lot of savings, but for now, they're expensive to buy. At the same time, the big fear for many is that, cool, the battery pack lasts for a long time, but then it ends up in a landfill. Well, that's not the case either. Multiple times in Tesla's 2021 impact report, they talk about battery recycling. They say battery pack is recycled at the end of life and used to build a brand new battery pack over and over again. Quote, when petroleum is pumped out of the ground, chemically refined and then burned, it releases toxic emissions into the atmosphere that are not recoverable for reuse. Battery materials, in contrast, are refined and put into a cell and will remain in the cell at the end of their life when they can be recycled to recover valuable materials for reuse repeatedly. There's a lot more to get into there, and Tesla's co-founder left to start an entire company dedicated to battery recycling, which will surely be a huge market in the coming years, but we can get into that another time. These cars are proving that they last a long time, and when batteries need replacing, those cells are recycled into a new battery pack. It's going to have a huge impact in the future, and hopefully soon enough we can see Tesla and other brands truly make a compelling $25,000 EV. In the meantime, if you want to see all the ways that Tesla is set up for success in the coming years related to battery supply, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.